Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the first of many Premiere Pro CC tutorials. This specific one will be tailored to someone who's very much new at editing and you've really never used Premiere Pro before. So we're just gonna go through the basic overview. I'm gonna introduce you to the workspace and kind of teach you how like everything's laid out and where you can find everything. Let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. So when you open Premiere for the first time, you're gonna be greeted with this window. This is where you're gonna select a new project or open an old project that you've already worked on. And what we're gonna do is just start a new project. And when you get here, we're gonna name this project Intro to Premiere Pro. Next, you wanna choose a location where you're gonna save your project file. Just click Browse and then navigate to where you wanna save your projects. Generally speaking, all the rest of this stuff, you'll just leave the same. We'll get to more of that in a later video. And just click OK. And what you're seeing now is the empty shell of Premiere Pro. And you'll get to know this workspace really, really well. This is the editing workspace. If you look along the top row here, you have a bunch of different options for what you want to do. You have a workspace for assembly, editing, color, effects, audio, graphics, and your libraries. So just below the workspace toolbar is your first panel and this is the source panel. This will be where you preview all your video clips and then choose your in and out points to drag them into the timeline. To the right of that is the program monitor and this will be what your timeline is outputting. So once you start putting clips down below in this timeline here, they will show up in your program monitor here. And in the bottom left, this is where you can find a lot of your most used panels. Project panels here, if you just click over at the top to the media browser, you can see where you can find all your files this way. Libraries, information on the selected clips, effects, this is where you'll find presets, your color grading presets, audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, video transitions, and the favorites folder. Next is markers and your history. So if you've ever used Photoshop, you're very familiar with the history panel because if you make a change or you do anything in the program, it's gonna save everything you've done and you can see that in the history panel. So if you don't like a change that you've made, you can always control or command Z and then go back to that point in history where you've made the change or you can go to the history panel and choose the exact point in which you made a change you don't like and then click it and you're back to one. So yeah, just beside that is the toolbar and the toolbar gives you your selection tool, uh, track select forward, ripple, your trim or razor tool, slip tool, you've got a pen tool, the hand tool, and the type tool. I know, it's a lot of tools. On the bottom right, you can see the actual timeline and this is where you're gonna be compiling all of your clips, making all your adjustment layers and all the really good stuff happens right there in the timeline. And lastly, just to the right, is your audio meters. It's very important to keep an eye on your audio meters to make sure that you have a consistent level throughout your video. Nothing worse than looking at your audio meters and you've got a clip in there that's just peeking out at zero. It just sounds terrible. So keep an eye on your audio meters to know where your acceptable audio levels are. There you have it. Pretty simple, right? The workspace, although it looks a little complicated, it's really not all that bad. And it's nice that everything's broken down into panels or sections, each of which does a certain task. And now that you know where they are, you can refer to this video when I start talking about the more complicated things in the future. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so that you get notified the very next time I upload the next tutorial. Smash the like button and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.